Okay, hi guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install We The People, the mod for colonization for civilization 4. So, we go to the forums first. First, the forums in zipfanatics.com. Go to mod overview. Here, fill on to GitHub. I suggest you take the latest version that's not beta, but if you want to play the beta, no problem, you just pick that one instead. But we're gonna take the latest proper release. Go on the mod here and you download it over here. Download a zip. Okay, and when your mod finishes downloading, you'll have a proper zip file. You will, of course, right click it, extract here. You will get a, a folder that looks like this. It, it might also some, say something else. If you, when you right click this, it might say um, move to here or something else. Just to make it the same thing basically. Unra, it may say. So you get this folder, which is what the mod contains. Okay, so you go to your installation directory on your PC. So it would be something like C, where you, you are, game has been installed. This is where all my installations are. These are different versions of the game. And um, I have called the latest one with the people. It's this one. You can see it's all the same files. So inside your the installation directory, you create this file called mods. It's not there from the beginning, but you just create as a, any given folder and name it mods. After that, you put this folder inside, you might call it with the people, if you want, call it something else, and you'll place it inside that mod folder. After that, the DLL file that will also be included in the um, download, it will have to go into assets here. And you can choose between a two square and a one square city radius. I suggest the two square. That's my personal, personal preference. Most people play with this, but other people like the one square. So it's totally up to you which one you want to go. But you put it into this map the folder and make sure it um, overwrites the current file that's here. You just accept that it's going to overwrite the current file. The last thing you do, you get this uh, very nice looking desktop, desktop icon here and you can use that to create a icon directly on your uh, desktop so you don't have to go into your uh, first reload the on a game like this and then go and load a mod and then wait for this one to open again. All you do is you take that icon and you right click, you press um, properties here and then you put this path under the destination. Wherever your um, game is installed first here the, the, your, um, the base game, it will be this path, then you put the two quotes, mod equal to colon, whatever you call the mod folder, we call it mod with the people. So, and then you just press apply and OK. And then the mod will open directly when you press this icon.